Hi everyone, it's Michelle Pulowski from Family Recovery Center. Um, we're gonna split this in twos. I'm going to talk a little bit about it today and then I'm gonna continue it next week. But how are you feeling? Feel free to comment anytime or if you don't feel good commenting, then you can always message us anything any suggestions or you can share, feel free to share any of our material too or in our handouts. So um, you got homework. So I want you to think of two things and I'll, I'll post it on, on the um, page too. I want you to think, what are you enjoying? What are you enjoying during this lockdown? Maybe you like that it's not hustle and bustle and you feel like you get a break from life. Or maybe you like online schooling or, or maybe you like being home with your, your family. So that, I want you to think of that. And I want you to think of number two is what are you struggling with? Okay. Maybe you're struggling with social, maybe socially because you miss hanging out with your friends and, and, um, you can't, you feel like you can't connect with them as much as if you're in person. Okay. Or maybe you feel misunderstood because communication has a lot to do with how we see each other. So, or how we're looking into our eyes and paying attention. So maybe there's a lot of miscommunication. Um, maybe you had a job and now you don't have it anymore. So now you don't have any money or lack of, of income. Maybe you got laid off and you're still getting a little bit or working part time. So I want you then down here, I'm gonna post that too. But the key is to concentrate on more so on the positives, not the negatives during this time. Try and be thankful for what we, what you have, what you're able to do. Okay. So there's your homework. So self-esteem, self-esteem. I found this definition. So a feeling of satisfaction that someone has in himself or herself and his or her own abilities. So that's good, but if you have good self-esteem, it's great that they, that's a good definition, a feeling of satisfaction. That means you have good self-esteem, that you feel good about what, how you feel um, how you're behaving, how you are acting. So self-esteem has a lot to do with inside. Okay. And maybe some people can have self-esteem, but not, we don't, we look, they look like they have good self-esteem, but they're, it's really not good. It's really, they have low self-esteem and not high. Because uh, you can have bad self-esteem and think all these negatives, like, oh, I can't do it. And we're going to talk more about that next week. So self-respect. Self-respect. I found this definition. Okay. So self-respect is a proper respect for oneself as a human being. Regard for one's own standing or position. So self-respect means you feel good. So in all this that we're gonna talk about, you have to have, you have to know yourself, your self-identification. So you have to know self-identity, right? Um, down on the bottom, this is, I like this. Self-respect means having confidence in yourself and behaving with grace, honor, and dignity. So you like how you are. And then the, the picture is they cannot take away our self-respect if we do not give it to them. So self-respect means you feel good about yourself. So you can, you can respect others. All right. Okay. And um, so 
self-respect has a lot to do with that. And um, it's important to have self that confidence, that self-respect and, and that self-esteem is the confidence more than self-respect means you respect yourself enough to walk away. Maybe somebody you know is, um, maybe somebody you know is trying to get you to do drugs and maybe you hooked up with these people and now you're friends with them. And so respect yourself enough to say, oh, I don't like how I'm behaving with those people. So maybe I better not do it. Or maybe self-respect also could be, I don't like how this makes me feel because I'm, I'm angry with everybody now. So let me have that self-respect to stop doing that. Okay. So respect yourself. I'm going to post that too. Respect yourself enough to walk away from anything that no longer serves you, grows you, or makes you happy. If it's not making you happy, if it's not making you feel good, why are you still doing it, right? Or why are you still hanging out with that person? So it's integrity. It's that self-identity again. So this I like, and we're going to talk more about this next week, but this is the self-concept. You notice that they're all interchangeable. Self-concept, self-esteem, self-efficiency. So you have to have the good self-concept, the good self-esteem, and this good self-efficiency. So that makes, that makes it you whole, okay? So that's, there again, that self-identity. You have to know yourself. Stay true. Stay true, stay you, okay? Stay you. We'll talk more about that next week. And I love me. Do you love yourself? Do you like how you're behaving? Do you like where you're going in life? So that has a lot to do with self-respect too. Do you, you have to love what you're doing in order to in order to go, keep moving and keep having that good self-esteem and that good self-respect. Respect yourself, okay? And the others will respect you. So, um, so we're gonna talk more about that next week too, but if you respect yourself and you will respect others, all right, so I hope you guys had a great uh, week. I hope you have a good weekend. So we talked about self-respect and self-esteem, and we're going to talk about that more, and then we're going to add the self-confidence, all right? So you guys have a great weekend. Bye-bye.